All right, Kevin, about to go into day two here of the NHC. I know when I talked to you briefly yesterday, you're like, this is kind of a lot going on in here today. What what was it specifically about yesterday that kind of maybe maybe surprised you? Uh, it was the atmosphere of the room was pretty interesting. You know, I've, mm. I've heard from a lot of people what it was like going into it. Uh, you don't really expect it until you really get here and see, you know, uh, 500 plus people in here cheering and screaming on the horse and you're sitting on the edge of your seat of races that you don't play hoping that you don't have you know, big priced horses come so that way the leaderboard uh, doesn't reflect in that way if you don't have that horse or if you're not playing the race and so uh, you know that was what really what uh, struck me the most yesterday it was sort of like missing the break a little bit as uh, I recalled my comment line to a, a couple of people but you know what we're in the race still and uh, we're gonna give it a shot today. Did, did you go back over any of, of your picture yesterday and kind of review of, of things you did right and kind of things that maybe you wish you had done differently? Yeah you know it was interesting yesterday with the strategy with a lot of the people if you sort of look at the leaderboard and where the race shapes uh, turned up yesterday because of the cancellation at Aqueduct and the half card cancellation at Laurel and the off the turf races that were around the country you sort of saw a lot of lower scores yesterday. So I saw a lot of people, even around my own table, were making the strategy of just grinding it out and getting those uh, two and a half, three to one horses that were coming, uh, that were winning yesterday and uh, moving up the leaderboard instead of picking those double digit priced horses to try and make a big uh, stand. My horses didn't really run all that well yesterday. I don't think I would have made any other decisions uh, differently yesterday, except there was one horse at Oakland. I was between two horses in one race. It was Sarah C and a horse for trainer Ignacio Grace that shipped up here from Tampa, shipped over there from Tampa. And uh, I was between the two. They're both the same price. Sarah C ended up winning and my horse ran fourth. And so that was the only thing I've really been kicking myself of uh, making that decision yesterday. I was lucky enough to have a 10 to one winner there yesterday. So I made uh, my goal yesterday is making day two matter. And so I'm making day two matter with the $40 on the leaderboard. I have to get to $140 today and I think there's a lot of chances to get there. And you mentioned uh, people grinding it out. I feel like the word grind has been the key word that a lot of people talk about with this tournament. Is that like I said for anybody who hasn't done it before is there any way to, to describe just how mentally grueling this sort of format is? Yeah when you're going through and handicapping you know on average 80 plus races a day um, and then you have to be on top of the next day's card and then if you make it to Sunday be on top of all those races on Sunday It's really just a grind and uh, it's the most time I've ever spent in a hotel room when I've been in Vegas Just because I've had so much work to, to do so my bank account and my wife both appreciate that that I'm not running around on the casino floor uh, After the race is here, but it, it is really a grind when you're sitting in this contest room I got down here right around 6 45 uh, a.m. Pacific time this morning and I'll be in here until you know probably five o'clock uh, Pacific time this evening and so uh, it's a long day it's a, you have to just mentally prepare yourself to uh, you know the highs and lows of the day and you don't really know that until you get uh, into the contest mode and uh, especially yesterday when I found myself down early I was trying to stay as positive as I could uh, you know just walking around and talking to people and, and staying as calm as I could just because I was over 10 at one point and uh, trying not to get down in the dumps over that all right